Let's look at what happens when we differentiate these three common trig functions. So the differentiation of sine x is cos x, cos x is minus sine x, and tan x is sec squared x. Now we're going to use these facts to work out what happens when we differentiate cosec x, which is the same as 1 over sine x. I'm going to use the quotient rule with u equal to 1 and v equal to sine x. u dx is 0 and dv dx will be cos x. y dx will be sine x times 0 minus 1 times cos x all over sine squared x. Tidy this up and we get minus cos x over sine squared x. Splitting this up into minus cos x over sine x times 1 over sine x. This leads to minus cot x times cosec x. Now let's find out what you get when you differentiate sec x, which is really 1 over cos x. Quotient rule again, with u equals 1, and v equals cos x. So u dash will be 0 and v dash will be minus sine x. y dx will be cos x times 0 minus 1 times minus sine x all over cos squared x. This equals sine x over cos squared x. This can be split to get sine x over cos x times 1 over cos x. This is tan x times sec x. Now cot x, which is 1 over tan x, which means it's cos x over sin x. Quotient rule with u equals cos x and v equals sin x. u dashed is minus sin x and v dash is cos x. y dx is sin x times minus sin x minus cos x times cos x all over sine squared x. This is minus sine squared x minus cos squared x over sine squared x. Because sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1, this leads to minus 1 over sine squared x. Means when we differentiate cot x, we get minus cosec squared x. 